It's the most wonderful time of the year. Hi guys, my voice is in pain. I went karaoke last night, so I sang a bit too much. I should have recorded it for you guys so you could see it, but yeah, <clears throat> my throat's killing me, but I hope it's not too bad for you guys, but it's December. It is Christmas season, and uh, I love and hate this month because it's just hectic, and you have to pay for presents and all that shit, and you, you, and you see people that you don't normally see, but at the same time, it's so fucking jolly, isn't it? So, and there's holidays, no, you can just sit on your ass, eat food, and I do get quite big during this season. I love to eat food and all that shit, don't we all? But Patreon requests, I am sorry it's late, but now I'm tending to them. And the first one will be National, <coughs> pardon me, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Now, I have heard of the National Lampoon's Vacation movie. But this is a comedy, a good Christmas comedy. I haven't seen this movie, hence why I'm watching it now. It's a Christmas movie. And when it comes to Christmas movies, mm, for me, a guilty pleasure is Jingle All The Way for all the wrong reasons. It, it's not a great movie, but it's a movie that gets me in a nice comfort mood, if you get what I'm saying. Um, for some reason, I'm drawing a blank on other Christmas movies. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? <laughs> I'll let you guys decide that in the comments, okay? But, um, yeah, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I'm expecting a shit show, comedy, you know, crazy things happen. Even, actually, the movie that comes to my mind right now, even though it's not a Christmas movie, it's more of a Thanksgiving movie, is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. That movie is, in my opinion... One of the best John Hughes movies, probably, probably actually, maybe my favorite because I love the comedy in it. I love John Candy. The guy was a treasure. Rest in peace. He's he's been dead for a long time now, but he is definitely missed on the big screen. And he was brilliant as Dell in that movie, and very heart touching as well at the end. Even though there's snow in the movie, it's not a Christmas movie, but it came to my mind when I was thinking about good Christmas movies, but. Yeah, the Santa Claus movies. Uh, yeah, the first one was okay. The rest kind of got downhill. But anyway, anyway, enough talking. Let's just watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And uh, let's have a good time, guys. Have a nice, jolly Christmas time. And uh, if you guys are interested, you can watch the full-length reactions on my Patreon. We can watch full-length reactions to all the movies and TV show episodes I watch on Patreon. And also Patreon requests, if you want to request a movie to me. Eventually, I will get to it. Don't worry. And um, without further ado, let's my fucking do it. Boys and girls, three, two, one, go. Run by John Hughes. Okay, okay, interesting. Oh, I like that animated opening. Pretty cool. That's the kid from Dust Till Dawn. From Dust Till Dawn. We're not driving all the way out here so you can get one of those stupid ties with the Santa Clauses on it, are we, Dad? No, I have one of those at home. What we're looking for today is the Griswold family Christmas tree. <laughs> Oh my god, did you see his face at the end of that shot? We wish you a merry Hey kids, look, a deer! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're definitely related to Tucker and Dale from Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Burn some dust here. Eat my rubber. <laughs> Eat my dust. Whatever, Russ. Great observation skills, but. Isn't it a little big? It's not big, it's just full. 
Dad, that thing wouldn't fit in our yard. Not going in our yard, Russ. It's going in our living room. How the fuck are you gonna do that? <laughs> oh shit. Dad, did you bring a saw? <laughs> so how are they gonna fit in the living room? I don't understand. <laughs> Just, I don't understand the logic. But I can relate to this guy. When I'm his age, when I have family, if I have a family, I'll be just like him. Where do you think you're gonna put a tree that big? Up your ass. Bend over and I'll show you. Da. <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve talking to me like that, Griswold. I have a little more trimming to do, but that won't be a problem. Ready? A lot of sapping. This music. He kind of looks like Bill Murray, I'm gonna lie. Oh, Mrs. Shirley. Uh, we got your Christmas card the other day, and my family and I are very flattered that you remembered us. Corporate cards. Don't forget that report, Bill. Yes, sir. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Kiss my ass. Kiss his ass. Kiss your ass. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> the boss, the arsehole boss is like dead tiny. <laughs> That's like a small man complex, probably. Wouldn't be the Christmas shopping season if the stores were any less hooter than they are. Harder than they are. Ooh, it is warm in here. Yes, yes, it is. It's a bit nipply out. I mean nippy out. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Nipple? <laughs> oh, there is a nip in the air, though. Can I? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, she's not dead. Yeah. We're just divorced. She's history. <laughs> and obviously she doesn't wear underwear. And <laughs> There are plenty of... Looks like it came out during the, the 80s. Oh, 100%. Yeah. That ladder she seems very shaky. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's wrapped around his oh. Is that physically possible? <laughs> I dedicate this house to the Griswold family Christmas. Oh. Ouch. Beautiful, Clark. Oh, I hope you can see what a silly waste of resources this was. You worked really hard, Grandma. So do washing machines. What the fuck? <laughs> so do... Okay. Let's get in where it's warm. Those two are just... Uh, Clark, <laughs> baby, I can picture... He's wide awake, isn't he? <laughs> I knew he was doing something sketchy. <laughs> That's a nice shot. I like that shot a lot of the moon. That's very nice. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 If he isn't up on the ladder fighting around his life, he must be in the house. I'm sure he wants to come shopping and have lunch with you. He's got another car. He can drive. I have to eat. So I can take they are back. doing a home alone. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Clark? Clark? Wow. Honey, I think I know what's wrong. That is... Oh my god, that's ridiculous. I can't see. No, 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 no
Think about face off when the song's on. Hallelujah. It's a beaut, clock. It's a beaut. <laughs> you taught me everything I know about exterior illumination. Thank you. Thank you. Exterior illumination. <laughs> Dear Catherine, Eddie. <laughs> oh, the house is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. If the mood catches him right, he'll grab your leg and just go to town. <laughs> you never know. If he does lay into you, it's best to just let him finish. Specials, <laughs> <laughs> it's a gift. Put it over there with the others, Greaseball. Grease? Oh my God. If you'll excuse me, I'm in the middle of an important call. Get me somebody. And get me somebody while I'm waiting. <laughs> that stereotypical over the top arsehole boss. Later, dudes. <laughs> Later, dudes. Later, rip. Hang pen. <laughs> That didn't stop his fall, oh my god. Bingo. That did look quite fun though, I'm not gonna lie. Very dangerous. December 21st. Hi, Hawaiian Christmas Day. That's the island greetings wow. that we see. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Santa Claus! <laughs> Uncle Clark, are you Santa Claus? If he was so real, how come we didn't get squat last year? We didn't do nothing wrong, we still got the shaft. Wow. I love it here. You don't gotta put on your coat to go to the bathroom, and your house is always parked in the same place. Social services. Social services. Okay. An asshole in his bathrobe emptying a chemical toilet into my sewer. Shitter was full! Ah, yeah. Oh. You checked our shitters, honey? Clark, please. He doesn't wow. know any better. He ought to know it's ill. Oh. <laughs> This dude's dangerous, actually. But the actual place was very familiar. When did you move to Florida? <laughs> Ellen, <laughs> are you still dating Claw? Every day somebody moves into a new house. They didn't move into a new house. Um, Is that how it looked originally? <laughs> Don't do that to a cat. She wrapped up her damn cat. Take it in the kitchen and open it up. Then we'll have a cat running around the house. You can't leave it in the box. Well, that other dog, though. Grace! Grace! She passed away 30 years ago. <laughs> they want you to say Grace. I heard on the news that an airline pilot spotted Santa's sled on its way in from New York. Oh. Oh. You serious, Clark? Art, you want to load me up with a little more there? It is good. <laughs> Honey? <laughs> oh, no. Oh no. 
God. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. Let's go in and finish our dessert. Why am I finding that funny? That thing had nine lives. She just spent them all. <laughs> It's not the chair, it's some kind of gas coming from the sewer. <laughs> oh, yeah. This fucking guy. <laughs> the gremlin's there or something. Like, what's going on? Lewis? My tree! So, what's the matter with you? With this bonus check, I'm putting in a swimming don't, pool. Don't, don't say, oh. <laughs> to make sure the pool goes in as soon as the ground thaws, I had to lay out the money in advance. And until this little miracle arrived, I didn't have enough in my account to cover the check I wrote. Hey. Oh. Hey. Clark, what's wrong? One year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. <sighs> oh, God. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. If any of you are looking for any last-minute gift ideas for me, I have one. I'd like Frank Shirley, my boss, right here tonight. And I want to look him straight in the eye, and I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no-good, rotten, four-flushing, low-life, snake-licking, dirt sack of monkey shit he is! Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? Turn that thing off and get them out! Look at his face. Just the teeniest bit sorry we didn't get a Christmas tree. I mean, even though they're dirty and messy and corny. The tree's gonna answer for the window, well, isn't it? Where are you gonna find a tree at this hour on Christmas Eve? <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> a tree. There are no lots open on Christmas Eve. Lewis burned down my tree, so I replaced it as best I could. Voila. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. All work, no play makes Jack a dull boy. Where's Eddie? He usually eats these goddamn things. Oh, not recently, Clark. He read the squirrels were high in cholesterol. Of course. Thank you, Catherine. Go get the hammer. If it bleeds, Clark, what do you need a hammer it. for? I'm gonna catch it in the coat and smack it with the hammer. <laughs> nah, it's gonna be messy. <laughs> Who wants a fainting? leaving nobody's walking out on this fun old-fashioned family christmas no no when santa squeezes his fat white ass down that chimney night he's gonna find the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house you're goofy don't piss me off art clark don't piss me off art not according to santa's watch it isn't for the man in his pajamas and a dog chain tied to his wrists and ankles what the <laughs> oh <laughs> stay here You're fired. Where's the phone? I'm calling the police. Eh, just hold your wad there, fella. Thanks for telling us. I was expecting a check. Instead, I got enrolled in a jelly club. 17 years with the company. I've gotten a Christmas bonus every year but this one. Sometimes things look good on paper, but lose their luster when you see how it affects real folks. Whatever you got last year, add 20%. <gasps> I'm impressed with Eddie's skills at, uh, at abducting people. It's quite impressive for a guy who's got a small brain, but. <laughs> Not you, them, them! Oh, there's no business. I'm not pressing any charges. What? I did something I shouldn't homes. have, and these people called me on it. This is Clark Griswold and his family. Welcome to our home. 
What's left of it? <laughs> He's gonna she grab his balls. What's going on here? That's pretty low, mister. If I had a rubber hose, I would beat you. Into I the changed system. my mind. I'm reinstating all the bonuses. It's Santa Claus. What? What's wrong? What? What? That ain't the friggin' Christmas star, Grizz. It's a lighter in the sewage treatment plant. Don't drop that! He's the police is there as well, celebrating Christmas with him. What are the odds? And that was National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And... <laughs> It kind of got crazy at the end. You got the police and the SWAT guys, you know, in the house, celebrating Christmas. And, but yeah, this is um, is this an eighties movie or nineties? I, 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 let's see what year this came out, because John Hughes written this as well. Eighty nine, it came out. It had the John Hughes isms in it, hundred um, percent. I know the guy Chevy Chase. He's been in other comedies. He's primarily he's a comedic actor, isn't he? I think he passed away, I believe. But um, yeah, this is a nice Christmas feel kind of movie. It's December the eighth, and that Christmas feel. You know, this is a good movie to watch in a sense. And um, from the other, you know, the message of you know the family, of family, and I think it's that 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 message is in most movies, Christmas movies. But you know, setting aside the differences. And celebrating Christmas, and being giving, and uh, not being an arse wipe, I guess, and um, <clears throat> that trope, though, you know, all the family gets together, even though some are very different, and some don't like each other, or whatever, and you got these old people, <laughs> they're either snoring, being weird, or very, or being arseholes, that's their three roles in this movie, except from the, um, Clark's parents actually they seem way more loving and caring than the other old people did but yeah the comedy you know it, it made me laugh quite a few times which is the goal of this movie it, it, it worked for me you know it doesn't take much to make me laugh anything can make me laugh you know someone just standing there with pulling a weird face would make me laugh people falling over though is something that just gets me every day so you know but <clears throat> there's that's, it, it is a nice, you know, Christmas movie. Definitely not my favourite, not even close, but it's a it's a nice Christmas movie that I haven't seen before. It was it was it was fun. Uh <laughs> you know, the main character Clark who just avoids the family by doing like a, I don't know how many lights, you know how many bulbs what bulbs 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 were on in you know, staple on the on the house, but Fucking hell, I just took a long, long... Imagine doing that and it didn't work. I'd be so fucking angry. But <clears throat> the performances were fine. Uh, it's kind of crazy. The daughter is, uh, is portrayed by the lady he was in um, um, from Dust Till Dawn. And she kind of plays the same character, to be honest. The, the kind of miserable teenager, which is kind of funny. Um, but I watched... Um, Fucking Krampus, I did I did a reaction to it as well, and it's somewhere. I have, I think I think it's on Patreon somewhere, and uh, in a way it's very similar, kind of similar format because it comes this like redneck family, they're very dirty and very weird, and they do weird shit, and that is kind of used in this. And Krampus came out a long a lot later than this, so in a way it's probably came from this movie instead, but. <laughs> There's some right stupid funny moments, and I I did like the opening. The opening was like it's animated, and I thought that I thought it was an animated movie for a brief second, and then it goes from there. But I need to watch National Lampoon Lampoons. I can't, National Lampoons Vacation, not Christmas Vacation. I, I may as well watch that movie as well, maybe you know, because I watched this. It's, I think I'm the only person on this planet who's watched this instead of watching that one first or whatever, but. Yeah, it's, it's, let's see if I can find, actually, 
Chevy Chase. Do, 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 do. He was in Caddyshack as well. Yeah. National Lampoon's Vacation. I always hear about that movie. Yeah. Clark Griswold goes on is on a quest to take his family on a quest on a quest to Wally World theme park for a vacation, but things don't go exactly as planned. Yeah. I probably should watch this down the line, but uh yeah, it was a good, you know, Christmas movie. You know, I think the staple Christmas movies to watch is probably Home Alone. For me, Die Hard. I don't know why. I just always watch Die Hard during this time. Black Christmas. <laughs> That's a bit a very weird one to, to pick. But Grinch is a great one too. Jingle All The Way. You know, and I, I have a friend who used to, it still plays Christmas music even when it's July. He absolutely adores Christmas music. And I'm like, dude, we're in July, pal. But now this month, he, he always plays it. So, yeah. But that was National Lampoon's Vacation or Christmas Vacation. And, uh, yeah, next on the Patreon request list, I'll be watching The Last House on the Left, which will be very interesting. So expect that after this. And uh, obviously, I'll be doing other reactions down the road. And um, I have been a bit inactive recently because I've been, I've been very busy. You know, I'm I'm working. I'm, I got a new job, and uni is fucking kicking my ass right now. But I'm trying to do this as much as I can. And I I haven't I haven't quit. Don't worry. Um, just hang in there, and you will. Eventually, I'll be uploading all this stuff. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with me. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Obviously, you'll see me before then. And um, I hope you guys have a good time. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.